Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today, I got a great friend with me, Phil. And what are we making, brother? Gary, today we're gonna make the perfect mojito. I know the kind of confidence involved in claiming that you make the perfect mojito because it's a Cuban drink, right? Historically, it's a Cuban drink. Cubans steal everything. I don't know if you guys know this. We, we're not original people. You ever had a Cuban sandwich? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian bacon, French bread, Swiss cheese, German mustard. We should be paying residuals on this sandwich. <laughs> so the mojito, I think, was it was founded by like, it was indigenous Cuban people who like used mint for like medicinal recipes. And then Francis Sumsum, under Queen Elizabeth I, was like a navigator, went to Cuba, had this medicinal, it was like, this is probably amazing with my rum. And they're really the ones who invented the mojito. And I went to Cuba. It's a devastating mojito. And like any communist country, the culture is in the US. You don't go there for the good shit. it's here now. Miami, New York makes the best mojito. And I was trained by guys who know their shit in New York. This is the steps, it's the beautiful thing. It's limes first, so uh... I know usually like the brown guy does the labor. I'm in. What do you want, them corded? Three on each side. Okay. Thank you very much. That's a good question. That was a good question. Yeah, so that was a bar back. Were you? Yeah, I'm a little Italian kid from Queens. We got no money in our pocket. Barback's a tough gig because everyone's like asking you for drinks and you're like, I can only touch ice cubes. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm meticulous about this shit, okay? So they're not bad sized limes, but I'm using four of these wedges, okay? So here's the real truth. Yeah. We got a lime tree outside, but they're not producing limes right now. They did have a really nice amount of limes that we've used over the last six months. And of course, now you come to make a mojito and we're gonna buy these cheap store bought I was about to say, is this like a green Meyer lemon that you pulled from your yard? Four wedges, and assuming, again, the sizes that you cut them into sixes, all right? Four wedges, and it goes to the bottom of the glass. Shablawi. Okay. Shablawi. Peep game. Now, as far as the mint leaves go, you want to get like a stack of leaves that equates to, I don't know, what would I call this? Um, like an, like an ounce of weed? Yeah, no, like okay. an ounce of weed. Maybe a gram of weed. Okay. An ounce of weed, mother of God. <laughs> I buy pre-rolls, what do I know? Yeah. If you had to scale this, this much mint, what do you think that is? Like if you had to fill a tablespoon, right? Yeah. Money in the bank. I don't know why people, like bartenders like to slap their mint. Bitch, this is going to be destroyed in a shaker. Bartenders so, slap the mint? They literally do this thing where they'll like hold out a thing of mint and slap it, I guess to like express its oils. I'm like, it's gonna get a lot of expression when you're destroying it in a shaker. I know, end yourself if you slap your mint. <laughs> and I kind of love the system that they took, cause check it out, they put the limes first, Okay. They put the mint on top, and then it's two rounded uh, teaspoons of sugar, which is like, it sounds insane, but it's like, if you when you watch them make Mongolian beef at Pia Chang's and you watch them use like a ladle of sugar, you realize there's sugar in everything and beyond acceptable margins. Put two rounded, right, on right over it. Bablao. Okay. I know it looks heavy. What did you say before? Shablabala? Shablao. I muddle right into the glass, just enough so that you know that the, like, the juice left the lime and you get kind of like a funky paste at the bottom of the glass. You're gonna fill your glass with ice. So you learned to make these when you're about 16? You mean at my quinceanera? What do you think? Well, you said you got into the restaurant business at about 16. Well, you I was making these by like 19. Like I was right. legally allowed to drink and I was making fire mojitos. I don't care how much you pay for rum. This peasant is the best for mixing rum drinks. Mojito, Bacardi is what it is. Bacardi or Don Q Silver is where it's at. Two ounce jigger, jigger. Thank you. Shabawi. Blowy. Right? Wow. Now, just because I know you got details on the rim of this glass, I'm about to shake this over the sink, but. Do whatever you gotta do. Let's see what we got. Some people will literally put the clubs, because you're gonna float this with club soda, and they'll put club soda in before you shake no, it. No, then it's, it's flat. You wanna get a good shake, because you wanna break the leaf, but you don't wanna like demolish it, because then you're gonna be sucking up fragment through your straw. No, you can't do that. Nice. I don't like to stir club soda into a drink, no. so I literally will pour it into my glass. So this is a 14 ounce glass, so the pour will fall short. Wow. Gary, Beauty. give it a sip. Let me know your thoughts. Who's swelling up? Honestly, it's terrible. <laughs> That's actually phenomenal. That is so good. I Wait. Damn, I just drank out of my drink. I don't know if... Don't worry about it. I had COVID three times this year. <laughs> Yeah, because you look like you lost your sense of taste. Lizzie, watch the steps. Give it to the professional. What are you over here? Gimme, 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 gimme. Out of nowhere, there's just a hand in the cap. Ew, gimme, 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 gimme. Like a little rascal over here. Gary, I want you to make a mojito, and I'm going to coach you through it. Perfect. All right. Ready? 
So we got four limes and we're just gonna put those in the glass, right? Then we're gonna take our mint. Assuming you wanna like pack a tablespoon. And then don't do this. Don't. That's done at a P.F. Chang's with all the other trash people. Two nice teaspoons. Full, full, full roundies. Full. Like way more than you'd ever really wanna How consume. About that? As once you know it's too much, you got it. And now. Yeah, now you just wanna. We're gonna just create this paste. Get a real funky Look gunk. That. Have the lifeblood just drain out of that thing. All right, we're gonna load it up. Load it up with some ice. Brim City. Excellent, all right. Now, we're gonna go two ounces right over the top. Excellent. Beautiful. And then I usually like to club it right okay. into the glass, pour right in, because that'll mix it for you. And, and this uh, is a 14 ounce glass, but we're only doing 12. Yeah, because that's the perfect measurement. I'm erratic and I like to speak with my hands. This lends itself to <laughs> expressive behavior. No. Give it a test. No, you gotta. I, don't, I, could, I could tell you this you is can perfection. Tell me. Yeah. Divine. I personally love bringing this drink to a party or a gathering. Do you ever wonder if you're gonna like join a group of people? Like, what can I contribute? Even socially, right? Maybe you got nothing to say probably the case. The mojito is so laborious and so generous that you'll be a hit. Talking points, flavor profiles, we're making memories. This is the drink that it's for. Or if you want to just get f***ed up, this is a wonderful drink. If you want the recipe, as always, it's in the comments below. And from our house to yours, a salute. Fresco.